Hi, this is Dan Frio, and today I want to discuss Reverse Mortgages 101. The basics, I just want to cover the basics on uh, what a reverse mortgage is. So basically a reverse mortgage is a government guaranteed loan. Um, it's not a subprime loan or anything that you should be in fear of. Um, you have to take a counseling session before you can qualify for the loan to make sure you know exactly what uh, the, the parameters of the loan are. Um, but a lot of people just think you're, you're deeding your home over to the bank or you're giving the house away or things like that. It is basically an FHA loan, okay? And then there's different, uh, we'll, we'll reference it as an FHA payment option loan. That might be a better way to, to frame this. Payment options. You can make a payment, you don't have to make a payment. What happens if you do not make a payment? The interest accrues. You can make a payment of interest only. You can make a payment that's amortized, meaning you can have the house paid off in 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 years if you'd like. Um, so the, let's go through the basic criteria. You need to be 62 years uh, of age or older. The house must be your primary home and you must occupy that property. When you do, know, when you do not or do no longer occupy that as your primary residency, the loan needs to be paid back. You can do that in multiple ways. One way, let's, let's assume in a situation where a person got a reverse mortgage and they, uh, they lived a long life and they passed away. Here's a really cool um, piece of this loan. There's no recourse. So let's say the, your, a parent or a grandparent took this property or yourself, you take this loan and you took it out 15 years ago and it, you took a $100,000 loan, now it's where you owe 180000 The house is worth a hundred. If the person passed, the heirs get the property, they sell it, they get a hundred, but they owe 180. dollars There is no recourse. The bank takes the, that 100000 and it is settled in full. That's what no recourse means. You cannot owe more than what you can get out of the property, okay? There are different variations on how the payments or how your money can be dispersed. You can take a lump sum. You can take, get a line of credit, use it when you like, like a credit card or any other line of credit on your home. You can get a monthly check, kind of like a social security check. Uh, the first of each month, you can allocate that you get a check. So that's basically what a reverse mortgage is. Again, it's an FHA, Federal Housing Authority oversees it. It's government backed. Um, it's not subprime or anything like that you that you should be concerned with. You still own the home. The, if you pull up the vesting of the property, you still are the owner of the property. It is primarily just a mortgage. Here's a cool feature of reverse mortgages. You can now buy a home using a reverse mortgage. And let's go through that real quick. So realtors or um, elderly, if you are looking to relocate, downsize, uh, do a few things, here's a really cool um, program that might fit right what you're looking at. Because in the heyday when you had a nice income coming in and those things, now you're retired, income is you know not as plentiful as it was once at one point. You know, not having a mortgage payment, buying a home with no mortgage payments, may be a possibility for you. Let's go through the parameters. It is not too good to be true. This is a, again, an FHA, the Federal Housing Authority oversees it, and is a, it is a government uh, guaranteed loan. Introduction to reverse mortgages. A senior can now leverage their monies um, to buy a house with, you know, the next, I'll go through the next frame, um, with a, just a, a portion of what the purchase price of the property is. A HECM is a home equity conversion mortgage. That is in essence what a reverse mortgage is called. No repayment of the loan is required until the borrower no longer occupies the property. Again, very similar to the refinance piece of this. Um, at that point, the mortgage is due. The borrower will qualify between 52 to 66% LTV depending on their age. What is LTV? That is loan to value. So in this particular case, let's say, let's round this to 50, okay? You can get a, put 50% down on the, your new home and take, get the other 50% on a reverse mortgage and you don't, do not have a mortgage payment. You don't, and you only need to put 52% down. 
you can put, um, so LTV is loan to value. So the loan amount divided by the value of the property. Okay, so I hope that makes sense to you. Again, in, in this case, if you look at this, you can leverage your money, put 50% down, use the other 50% in, in a reverse mortgage so you don't have to deplete all of your cash and never have a mortgage payment. The older you are, the higher the loan to value. So meaning the, the lower the amount that you would need to put as a down payment. Okay. Why use a, a reverse mortgage? So you don't have to make mortgage payments. You do not pay, use all of your, leverage your money. You're not using up all of your cash reserves. Um, what you do have to do though, is if you do put 50% down, finance 50%, you know, using the billability of the reverse mortgage, you have to keep up with the taxes and insurance on the property. Again, the Heckam loan, which is a, another word for reverse mortgage, is no recourse, and we discussed that on the refinance piece. That means you would never be asked to pay back more than the value of your home. Fast and easy down payment. We, I can figure this out real quick. All I need from you is the purchase price of the house, the date of birth, and your zip code, and I can tell you exactly how much you would qualify for, or in another way, how much money you would have to put down on a property uh, to do it, do the transaction as a reverse mortgage. There's 10,000 baby boomers turning 62 every day. So this is a, this is going to be a great, great, great program today and in the future. Guidelines. You can do a single family, a PUD, which is like a townhouse, things like that, FHA, and, and FHA approved to condos. Again, this is an FHA loan, so the condos have to be FHA approved. No manufactured homes, log homes, kind of no unique properties. You can't, ha like I said before, it has to be your primary home. It cannot be a second home or an investment property. New construction is not eligible. Any repairs you're going to have to do prior to the closing, and a home inspection um, is required. And here's in regards to on a, on a reverse refinance, there is no credit qualifying. You can have a bankruptcy, a foreclosure, anything could have happened to you in the past. Uh, and you can do the reverse mortgage refinance. However, if you're doing it as a purchase, these are the credit guidelines. No notice of defaults. In essence is a foreclosure, short sale, deed in lieu in the past three years. You cannot owe or be behind on any federal debt, and you cannot have a bankruptcy over that's been uh, prior to two years. Uh, the funds that you would need to put down as the down payment. So again, on this one, we're using we're going to put 50 percent down, leverage our money, and finance the other fifty percent. Where can that money come from? You cannot get it through a loan. You can sell a business or sell other real estate to get it, but we would need to paper trail that. And we need a 90 day um, tracking of all the monies that transpire. And that's the biggest part of that is the Patriot Act that requires that. Borrowers may keep other real estate. So if you have a second home um, or a couple second homes or a ca cabin in Wisconsin and a house in Florida, but this is your primary home, you can do this. Um, when it, when you see this wording here, debt to income, it's DTI, what we do is we budget you to make sure that you can um, manage the new payment that you have on on the loan that you're taking out. Because again, you're, you need to um, either finance or do something with the other 50%. This is a loan that's 50% of the house's value you have to sign an occupancy permit stating that it will be your primary home and you have to occupy it within 60 days. No seller concessions are allowed. Many concessions are uh, sellers kind of giving you monies back, giving you credits um, and things like that. It's not allowed um, in this transaction. However, you can use gift of funds. So if children are trying to help you out, uh, grandkids, something like that, they can gift you the money and help you in this transaction. Most common pitfalls, home inspection is done late, uh, need repairs, 
funds are not ceased and sourced in season. Like I said, we need to show that you've had the money for 90 days. Um, and then, you know, a lot of times the real estate brokers and so forth will try to get you seller concessions, meaning credits and things like that to help you with the transaction that cannot be allowed. So the, the, here's how the process works. Um, get a contract. You have to get counseling done before any of the paperwork gets started on the reverse mortgage. Uh, we'll get a uh, certificate of occupancy, applications and disclosures. We'll get an FHA case number, order the appraisal, submit the loan. I apologize about that. Submit the loan, get a clear to close, and fund your loan. So if we could be of any help, here's my contact information. Please let us know, 630-338-1160 or dan.frio at gmail.com. You can also find a lot of information on our website, themortgageupdate.net. Thank you. Take care. Have a great day.